Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is in a league of her own, making history as the first and only female to score a multi-million yes. dollar contract yes. with the Women's Football League Association. She's breaking necks and cashing checks. Hello. Mm. Please welcome the queen of abs, Santia Dak. Yes. She's on deck. Yes. Santia. Yes. Can oh I just say gosh. one thing? Yes, okay. please do. I am so happy you're beautiful. You are so, like, yes. I, what, what I really want to say is I'm, I'm happy that you are really embracing your femininity. Yeah, yeah. A lot of times we see uh, female athletes and they don't embrace their femininity at all. It's it's like they, they feel like they have to act like boys. No, we can play hard, but right. you still can be, you can look soft and be the flower that you are. And you really, really, really display that today. Thank you I'm so much. very happy. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Yes. Yes. yes, I'm very happy. Thank you. I'm serious. <laughs> With that being said, uh, this is uh, February, and we celebrate uh, Black History Month in February. We celebrate it here at Sister Circle year-round. Yes, Mel. Uh, we celebrate Black Girl Magic, but you are the Oops. essence of Black Girl of Magic. History. You are yeah. Black History. Yeah. Uh, thank you, so, thank how, you. how do you feel? How does that empower you? <sighs> um, honestly, it's been so surreal um, since I made my announcement about signing this, you know, this contract. And for me, it's not even about like all the things that. Um, are happening to me. It's about what I'm going to be able to do for all the female athletes and young girls yes, coming after me yeah. that want to play football that might, might not have had a chance. So that now they have a platform. Now they can be paid, be taken care of, you know, take care of their families just like the men. Yeah. So yeah. that's my main thing is just helping the next generation. Yeah, so. that's good. Speaking of helping the next generation, Katie Sowers, yes. of course, was the first female um, coach to coach in a Super Bowl with the 49ers. What does that do for where we're trying to move forward as far as female athletes um, and coaches. Yeah, she honestly has definitely pushed the envelope for all of us, you yes. know, being a woman doing the things that she's been doing in her position. Mm -hmm. And she's opening up the doors for more female coaches yes. because there's a lot of women that love the game, that also want to coach. And now we know it's possible. Now yes. we know that we can even win a Super Bowl, right. you know, if we're on the team. So right, it's like right. she's really making humongous strides. And I'm just so honored to be a part of this whole history making thing yes. in the football. So I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm just grateful. Yeah, <laughs> you should be, you should yeah. be. Well, you're a woman of many talents. You also published a book uh, entitled The Struggle, the Struggle and you're tackling and you talk about the um, abuse of issues that you've had here the child abuse issues mm -hmm. why is it so important so I myself was never abused as a child okay. but I always took I don't know I always had this thing to where I wanted to help the helpless like be a voice for the voiceless and I had friends when I was younger that were abused by their family members and things like that so I remember them telling me all their stories and I just mm -hmm. remember one day I was like you know what I really want to write a book to highlight this because yeah. people don't like talking about it. that's a very sensitive subject. Mm -hmm. So I remember I actually wrote this book when I was in high school. I was a freshman in high school. I wrote this book oh, wow. one summer um, and I remember uh, I had showed, um, I actually had a, let me just say, tell the story real quick. Mm -hmm. I remember I was in class one day. I was in uh, middle school and we had a free writing day. And I remember I wrote a story about a homeless kid and he could feel the, the, the coldness of the pavement, he could smell the trash. And I remember my teacher was like, hey, can I, can I talk to you after class mm -hmm. real quick? And he, she was like, is everything okay? Right. And I was like, no, I mean, everything's fine at home. I said, that's just how I write. I'm mm -hmm. a very dark writer. I, this is weird, but my favorite, one of my favorite are, are um, published authors. I can't even talk right now. No, you're fine. <laughs> you're great. Right. You're great. Right. How you doing, girl? <laughs> you with your friends. You're yes, good. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Edgar Allan Poe. I know yes, that's, a, that's yes. a, he's a dark writer, yes. so I kind of took after him. But I remember she called my mom and was like, you know, you need to come up here and we need to have a conversation. She was like, no, that's just how my daughter writes. And yeah. that's when I knew I had kind of a gift for writing. And yes. So, yeah, so those are descriptive words. Yeah. yeah that's what yeah, did yeah. Edgar Allan Poe. That's <laughs> yes. my, it's, my, it's actually one of my favorite writers. Okay, good. So I don't feel so weird now. Good. Let's talk about why you even started loving football. I have an affinity towards football because my dad uh, is a legendary, now retired high school football coach. So football has been my life. Right. What about you? So I grew up with three brothers. Um, they all played football, all played running back. Okay. And I, one of them was my twin brother. Oh, yeah, wow. so I, I, it was kind of natural. Like, I didn't realize, like, us playing football in the backyard, running routes, me running drills. I actually tried to play on his peewee team when I was younger. Mm -hmm. But I got hit. My mom was like, ah, that's about it for you. <laughs> <laughs> and so I didn't realize, like, later on in life that that would kind of come full circle because I ran track from 6 to 23. Uh -huh, I'm not uh -huh. 28. Like, come so, on now. Come on now. so, yeah, wow. so it was just, uh, it came natural. You know, yeah. I was, it was kind of a God-given talent because I didn't train for it all through life. It just kind of kind of presented itself. Yeah. So how can we make sure that we 
continue the progression that we see with women in sports. And you're you're just trying to make sure that women get to play their sport with women. You're yes. not like trying to say, I'm trying to be in the NFL. Oh, man. Yeah, let's talk, I know that was kind of a dual question. Yeah. But how are you, well, how we continue to make progress but still stay in our own lane and make our own thing? Right. Yeah. So I always try to tell people like, I am not trying to play in the NFL. I'm not trying to be a man. I get a lot of DMs like, oh my gosh, you're trying to be a man. You need to stay in the kitchen. I'm like, oh, I never hit you. Yeah, you should have told the people you don't even know how to cook. <laughs> <laughs> you should have told them. Hello, most chefs are men. <laughs> yeah, but no, I get it. it's a lot of angry <laughs> men, but I have a lot of support. But I try to tell people, look, we just want the same opportunity. We want to be paid. We want to be able to feed our families, get insurance, take care you know, of us. And you know, we go through the same blood, sweat, and tears and everything that they do. So why, why should we not be compensated? Yeah. Right. So, you know, for me, that's really the bigger thing. Um, and, yeah, so that's yeah. just, and as far as, like, continuing to push the envelope, I feel like we just need to continue to speak life into these girls that want to that wanna go to that level. Yes. Because it's a lot of people saying that, oh, you can't do that. You're a girl. You're, you're, that's, that's a very masculine thing to do. I was told that. Yeah. But I was told no a, a lot of times. And I just, I would tell the next generation, no matter what anybody tells you, if you want it, go get it. That's it. Yes. Simple, like, point blank period. That's go it. Go get it. Hey, Santee, let me hold some money, though. Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> let's give it up for Be sure to follow her on Instagram at trackbaby001 or her website, queenofabs.com. Santee, Thank you so much. Thank you so much.